Okay. Um, hmm. I'm going to refresh, guys, my – can I get the bucks you emailed me about? Yes, Guru Mark. One second, bud. Um, one second. I'm going to refresh my screen here. Guru Mark, just give me one moment, buddy. I'm going to refresh my screen here because, once again, I hit stop screen share, and then all of my layers disappeared. I mean, I guess I don't really need it. Um, it's just bizarre that that happens. Why the heck does that happen? Well, whatever. We're going to just continue on. How's everybody doing? Hope you're all doing well. I am going to just do a quick roll call before I forget. Guru Mark, give, go, oops, hold on, give, one, two, three, Guru Mark 10. Fiat Destroyer, what's going on? All right, Guru Mark, check your balance, buddy. We have a little bit of a, a lag here. It seems to be the standard anywhere between 20 to uh, 30 um, seconds, more or less. But I just gave uh, Guru Mark 10 Gs. And Guru Mark, let me know if uh, Silver City did. <laughs> Luckily, I don't have the kids yet. Uh, the kids report in on Thursday. You're welcome, Guru Mark. Just make sure you do a quick, um, uh, what do you want to call that there? A uh, Actually, I could probably just look at the uh, users here. Oh, man. Thank you, dude. And uh, Graham, thank you so much. I do have a goal down there, and it doesn't look like it's going unless it's a little bit um, delayed. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. I'll keep track manually in that case. Uh, Guru Mark, I hope you got the 10K. And Graham, thank you so much. And that brings us to 14. This is just going to be another thing that I'm going to have to keep track of. Figures that technology doesn't cooperate with me because I did have this little thing there, as you can see, and it's not going with it. I don't know why. Um, so we're at $14 of the 100 for another gonk game guys i want to try if i refresh my page i'm afraid that it's going to bounce me off here and if i do refresh the page you all have to come right back in that's the that's the thing you know what i'm saying um let me see if i click here c rod you crazy nut job <laughs> thank you dude we're the 20 spot. Holy cow, that brings us to 34. I wish that progress bar was going up and then like the animations were hopping on here. I'm kind of disappointed that it's not working. Um, but uh, but yeah, we've got a, a good bunch of people here. Um, we've got Grog, we've got Graham Stacker, Mondo from the Vault. We've got TJ Coins, Michael Aldridge, Coach, uh, Fiat Destroyer saw us stack in. Um, infamous stacker and guys if I leave you out please don't uh, don't be offended um, uh, another five spot guru <laughs> guru mark anytime buddy we're at 39 oh my god we didn't even start the game yet um, wow thank you so much guys for your generosity silver trooper now we're just getting started here saying hello to everybody 39 watching thank you so much guys I got some coach holy crap <laughs> Dude, oh my God, all right, we're at 49. You're making me do math here. 49, wow, you guys are too cool, man. We're at 49 of that 100. I'm so disappointed too because I actually had everything all, oh wait, what is that? Wait, I do see it. Wow, talk about a flipping, flipping uh, delay. It's just showing up now. God, how, how long of a delay is that? Meet me. <laughs> Another two spot. Okay, so this is going up there, but it's we're over at 51. My God. All right. But now, all right, now it's starting to catch up. Okay, I was like getting all annoyed here. It's it's slowly going there. I had like a no um no delay, but it's I don't know what the heck its problem is here, but it looks like it's going there. I'm keeping track of it anyway, too. So we're at 51, guys, already of the $100 goal to reset the game. Um or upgrade gonk. 
Um, how delayed is the stream? Well, this is actually more delayed. The stream itself, um, Optimus Locus, is about 20 seconds behind me. So what you're hearing me say, um, you know, I'm responding to your chat, but it seems like my audio is coming to you guys about 20 seconds after what's going on in the chat, if that makes sense. Gabriel, gold test. <laughs> Gabriel, thank you, dude, for the five. Thank you so much. Let's get 100 Jamie Huerta, dude. Thank you, 58. Oh my God. We didn't even get started with the bidding, and you guys are out of control here. Um, <laughs> <coughs> thank you so much, guys. Um, all right. So I got a lot of cool things for tonight, all right? A lot of cool things. And uh, and I want to tell you, oh, <laughs> my God, Grog, oh, my God, 20. Dude, you guys are nuts. You guys are nuts, man. Yeah, you're doing it right, brother. Thank you so much, dude. Oh, my God. All right. And hopefully those other, like, animations are popping up. Um, so we're time traveling to stacking your – yeah, we're back in time right now. You guys are ahead. Um, but this is going there. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. I don't know what happens if it hits the 100. And then once it hits the 100, I don't know if it resets. I don't know. but. Um, well, we'll see. Anyway, those of you that are just coming in, I want to just share something with you guys really quick, okay? If you notice right over here, I um, this is like uh, Monty Python, giant hand. Mm. Anyway, you like those sound effects? Um, if you notice, guys, I just uh, changed the shipping to $4. This is a really important thing I wanted to get across to you guys, okay? First of all, shipping um, has been costing uh, me 4 bucks and up. And I've been taking it on the chin, which is fine. You guys have been more than generous. Um, but the bigger thing to all of this is that um, I would like for all of you to send me. Hey, Donald in New Mexico, good to see you. Uh, your payment, um, goods and services. And here is why. Uh, two things. First and foremost, and most, most importantly, I think that it um, protects you guys as the buyers. And it protects me as the seller, uh, makes it a little bit more official. And if God forbid there was ever some sort of dispute, which I doubt, I mean, I'm a fairly flexible guy and you guys are all fairly reasonable, but, um, if there was ever an issue, God forbid, um, I think it just protects all of us. That's the first thing. And the second thing is that, um, I have heard of some channels, uh, and having PayPal issues and PayPal being shut down on them because of too many friends and family transactions. Now, whether or not that's true, I don't know, but I've seen some bigger auctions on YouTube doing it this way. And I said to myself, you know what? I got to be doing that too. So, um, I, I just, uh, you know, I decided that I think it would be best for you guys and me, but by me doing the, uh, goods and services, I then also uh, lose a little bit of money in the transaction, which is fine, but I just um, I just wanted to make it a little bit more official. Plus, I think that it helps me when it comes to shipping and whatnot. So anyway, guys, for those of you who are new to, yeah, Graham, just send it to me via um, uh, goods and services, and we should be, uh, we should be good. Um, I don't know why this is so delayed. For whatever reason, this goal says it's at 36, but we're at 78. So anyhow, the other thing too, guys, those of you that are coming in here, this is an auction, obviously, for coins and some other collectibles, but basically coins and bars. Uh, the bucket bucks that you see within the live chat are for um, gambling for fun. Uh, the problem with using PayPal friends and family is that no comments can be used. That too. There's a bunch of issues that I had with it. So, yeah, we're just moving on to uh, <laughs> listening to that happened on Alderaan. That's true, ma'am. So, um, so yeah, so uh, the bucket bucks are used to redeem for prizes. In fact, here, and we're going to get started real soon, but I want to give all of you guys, because I'm feeling uh, <clears throat> a little bit generous, give 500 chat, giving you all 500. Uh, let me quickly show you the game. Those of you that are new to the, um, those of you that are new, uh, this game is called Beware of Gonk, 
And each of my live streams, we play for at least one ounce of silver. However, um, if the goal is met of $100 for Super Chats, we upgrade the prize. If there was already a game in progress, it would reset. Um, so it's it's a cool thing, um, the cool feature that I, I decided to add to this. Um, so that's that. Um, let me get back to the auction. We're going to get started. Um, this is the first thing that I wanted to show you guys. I have a great uh, lineup for you guys tonight. I have about 14 or 15 items. Um, and I, it ranges from historic coins to present day stuff to really, really nice commemorative collectible pieces, high end. So I think you guys are going to really enjoy what I have for you tonight. So the first things first, and this is in honor of Armando from the vault. Armando, thank you for sticking around, dude. I wasn't planning on doing this, but this is for you, all right? Let me move this out of the way. In fact, let me get my um, let me get my camera up. YouTube has removed the channel links now. Can only post video links. YouTube, you can only post video links, but YouTube has removed the channel links. I'm not sure what you mean, Ozzy. I'm not sure I'm I'm following you, bro. Uh, let me go to advance. Let me get my autofocus off. Okay, here's the first thing, guys. This is an honor. And by the way, those silver and gold prices today, guys, put a one in the chat if you are buying, because I'm still buying. I bought a whole bunch of stuff. I bought a whole bunch of stuff. Are you going to eventually show a list of items up for auction an hour before? Optimus, maybe. It depends. It's time consuming. Um, I, I understand if there's some items that you're going to want to save for or keep your eye on or get ready for, I totally understand it. Um, I have to think about it because I do change things also every once in a while. So, um, I, I feel like a list would be arbitrary. Like Guido and I, we do things a little bit differently where we do things on the fly. Uh, the other thing too, real quick, if you guys didn't notice in my description, um, I need for you guys to be registered bidders with me. Um, if you've already bid with me and have paid and done transactions or have done super chat donations, you're fine. Don't worry about it. You're registered. There is a list. I'll continue to add to it. Guido continues to add to it. It's a list that he and I share. Um, payment is, um, is, uh, due within 48 hours. But if you guys do it by the end of the stream, then you get free silver with every purchase. So here is the first item guys. Here is the first item. This is a silver round, and I'm going to take it out of this, but for now, it's Aggression is Defeated, okay? And this is in honor of Armando from the Vault. Aggression is Defeated, and Armando, I'm sure you understand why that I'm putting this up here for Armando because he is a veteran of the Persian Gulf War, uh, Persian Gulf victory, 1991. Uh, let me zoom in on this one. All right, there we go. Persian Gulf victory, February 27th, 1991. This is a silver round. Awesome. It's got the American flag and the fighter jet there. Let me flip this back over. It's got the eagle. Okay, and it says aggression is defeated. All right, Graham Stacker, register now. Dude, you've been registered, man. You're fine, man. Thank you so much for that. Uh, we are now at 80 for this. I don't know why the uh, the uh, thing is not going. But um, anyway, I'm going to take this out. Let me get my glove. All right, put that right there. You guys want to see. This is like, this is how stormtroopers do it with stormtrooper gloves. All right. You got that right, Donald, in New Mexico. Darn straight. So let me get my stormtrooper glove here. See, with my hand plate and everything. This is actually my <laughs> from my uh, my costume. Uh, thank you so much, guys, though, for those super chats. Seriously, uh, again, don't let that goal mislead you. We are at 80. I don't know why it is um, not uh, updating. I'll have to talk to player.me. Um, but let me zoom in on this for you guys. All right, Persian Gulf victory. I'll tell you how much the starting bid is in just a moment. Let me flip this over very carefully. This is a, and as I drop it, it's okay. It's a silver round. And then let's get that there. All right, 
And we are going to start the bidding. Let me check my lot sheet here. For this one, absolutely, guys. Everybody should uh, be subscribing to Armando from the Vault. Uh, veteran, uh, much appreciated. As um, as is Grog the Devourer. We're going to start this at twenty-eight dollars. Uh, if you guys can refrain from, um, if you guys can refrain uh, from Emmerine, it's in the um, it's if it's in the description. There's a link there. Uh, yeah, Armando. We're at 30 already. Um, we're at 30 already. And guys, don't forget that this is a vintage round from 91. It pains me to say. Uh, and also, guys, if you could do me a favor, during the actual auctions, if you can refrain from gambling, hold off on the games. What's up, Silver Mamba? I got some beautiful things for you, bro. You don't want to leave. We're at eighty dollars for our chat bowl. Why it stopped at thirty-seven dollars or thirty-six dollars and ninety-eight cents is bizarre. Uh, Armando is at thirty-three. We got Armando at thirty-three. Stars, thank you so much for being here, buddy. And Silver Trooper, you guys for calling it. We got Armando at thirty-three, dude. Armando, as soon as I saw you pop in, I'm like, I know this guy isn't gonna stick around long. Let me show him this. Uh, I actually, Armando, saw this the other day and thought of you, believe it or not, because you are. Don't, Armando, you don't need to register, bro. You and I have known each other since I started on YouTube, since I was a YouTube infant. Armando, I know you're good for it, brother. Don't you worry about it. Uh, but I thought of you because you're actually the only Persian Gulf veteran I know, and I picked it up. Uh, so we are at 35 for Armando from the vault. And again, Armando, all purchases that are made by by the end of the stream, you get free silver with your shipment, um, and it's four dollars flat. Let me put that there. I'm flipping it over. It's kind of cumbersome to do this with the stormtrooper glove. In fact, let me back the camera up. Give me a little more. Room. What's the matter? You vintage too, like me, Fiat? I am, man. I'm 40 years old. Uh, <laughs> I am vintage. If you need a mod, I'd be willing to help. Thanks, Alex Coin Roll. I got saws, and I got. Um, and uh, I got Richos was in here and Ozzy. I've got like four or five in and out of here tonight, but I appreciate you. All right, so I'm going to start counting it down. We got Armando at 35. We got Armando at 35. Uh, I, I want Armando to have a two coach. Um, Guru Mark is at 51. Guru Mark is at 51. I send you a dollar to register, Emmerine. All right, Emmerine, um, let me check the PayPal. I believe that you did. Like, I don't think you would lie about that. So I think you'll be all set. Uh, but let me just pull it up just to confirm with you. I'd like to register the description says to let you know. Method Marine. Yeah, um, I've seen you in here and I've seen you in uh, Guido's uh, before. Um, oh, Guru Mark says he's 51. Armando, you're still in it, bro, at 35. Armando, you're still at it, 35. Uh, Emmerine, you're good, man. I got it. All right, so Armando's at 35. I'm going to start counting it. Three, two. No, Armando, you're good. One. Armando's at 35. I'm going to pause right before I type in sold and sold to Armando from the vault. Armando, uh, you could send me the in, uh, send me the payment via PayPal. And um, I appreciate you. It's uh, stackingstormtrooper at gmail.com. The link is right, right there, right there on the screen. And if you pay by the end of the evening, plus it's a $4 shipping, um, I'll throw in free silver with this. So Armando for 35, nice win, bro. Uh, enjoy this beautiful silver round. I'll put that to the side. And uh, let me just write that down. Armando. All right. All right. We're good. All right. So we are at 80 for the uh, gunk reset. Why on earth? Again, it is um, not moving along, but you guys have 80 bucks in there. So thank you for that. I'll pay by the end. Armando, cool. Thank you, buddy. Um, in fact, you know what? Let's do another. Let's do another. The next item up is Jamie Huerta. If you're in here, 
We've got a cousin of the pandas, and I do have pandas, but we got a cousin of the pandas. Let me turn over my sheet. All right. Here we've got the grizzly bears. The grizzlies. Now, the grizzly bear, guys, this is a 2011. Let me put this up like that. A 2011 Annex MS-70 Canadian grizzly bear. There were six in the series of the Canadian wildlife. This is the first. This is the first, the Canadian grizzly bear. Uh, let me zoom in on that a little bit for you guys. All right. Whoop. Okay. Very cool. I, I like how there's all the different depths here. I mean, if they had done that with the uh, dolphin coin that I ranted about. Um, and then we've got old Queenie. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll put this back there. Hold on. There you go. We got the Queenie. It looks like a little bit of a milk spot right there. If you see it, I don't believe that's on the capsule. I think that is on the coin. Actually, yep, that's on the coin. So you got a milk spot on the coin, but that was common with uh, Canadian. Thank you very much for all the kind words. Uh, of, of course, Armando, dude. Like I said, I, you and I, we've known each other since I started seven months ago, man. Um, you're a good guy. Uh, the, the grizzly bear looks like it's uh, popping off of the screen there. And again, this is the first in the Canadian Wildlife Series. So guys, hold all bets. Um, we are actually going right here, $32 to start. This one off. This is the Canadian grizzly, the first in the series. As you guys know, as you guys know, uh, first of any series typically are more rare and valuable. So we're at 32 for the Canadian Wildlife. Gabe is at 34. Um, and if you're collecting these, I do uh, I do have others in this series as well. So we got Gabriel at 34. And again, guys, if you could do me a favor and hold off on any bids or random numbers while we are in the middle, in between the go and the sold. Thank you so much. Um, so it's MS70 Annex. We're at 34. We've got Method Marine at 37. Um, looks like a black bear to me, says Coach. Uh, I mean, to me, and I, I actually came face to face with a black bear when I was a little kid. Uh, I could share that story in a little in a moment. But we got Method Marine at 37. What is that bear crap? Does that bear crap in the woods? This one doesn't. He goes wherever he feels like, Donald. If he's on the street, he'll go there. On on somebody's porch, he'll go there. It doesn't matter. He'll do it wherever he wants, this guy. Look at him. That's actually what he's saying right now. We got Huerta at 38. <laughs> Coach, I know, man. That's all good. We got Jamie at 38. Jamie wants the cousin to the pander. And I got some panders. Uh, notice, Jamie, I didn't insult this guy here. I didn't say this is a type 2 diabetic grizzly bear. That's reserved for the pandas. This is just a uh, – and I didn't even say he's morbidly obese. He's got giganticism or like he's his pituitary gland was uh, out of control, and he grew at an extraordinary rate. Doctors couldn't help him, and now he's massive. <laughs> Short Shannon Show, what's going on, man? We got Gabe at 39. Optimus Locus, uh, serious or some BS? It's a brown bear. See the hump. <laughs> it says it's the grizzly. I'm pretty sure it's the grizzly. Um, all right, so we got Gabriel at 39. <coughs> Meat man. And we're going to start counting this one down because we got a lot of items to get through here. What year is this one? 2011 Method Marine. 2011. Method Marine, have you purchased? It was his glands. <laughs> it was his, was it his pituitary? Usually they've got giganticism. I don't know the word. Whatever. Uh, Stacking Storm Trip of the Year. It's 2011. And it's the first one, the Canadian Grizzly Bear, the first one in the series. Again, guys, it's got that little milk spot on the back, which was a common thing to those Canadian folk right there on the back by the back of her head. 
Uh, all right, so we're going to start counting this one down then. All right, we're going to start counting this one down. We got, I uh, believe Gabe is at three. And then Armando, I got to give you bucket bucks. Two, one. Thank you, Ozzy. Yeah, I mean, got to remind them, right? It's the first in the series, guys. Last chance. I'm typing in sold right now. And Elephantitis, says Josh Cravens. <laughs> sold to Gabe UC for 39 and I got to give you um, Bucket Bucks, uh, Armando, and Gabe. All right. Gabe, congrats on the Grizzly. And Bear Down. Let me type that in here. I got to give, give Armando, give 1,000 Armando from the vault. And then I got to give. 1,000 Gabriel. All right. Very cool, guys. So, guys, again, for whatever reason, uh, the Super Chat Monitor is being bizarre. And we are at $80 of that goal. Um, I think in a few more items, we will play a round of Beware of Gonk. So let's get the next item up for bid. And it looks like we're going to go with this. This thing sold. Uh, I forget who bought it. I think they might be in here, though. Gabe, it may have been you. Um, but Or maybe a Silver Mamba. I can't recall. But when Guido and I were doing the golf for good, I put up, I think it was a two francs uh, of this. This is a Swiss franc. Uh, it's, half, it's one half Swiss franc. This is a gorgeous coin. And it is from 1945. Check this out. It's 800 silver. So it's 0.835, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to zoom in on this. Let me tilt the camera down and get more of a straight-on shot here. Let me get in real close. It's about the size of a dime, and it's a one-half Swiss franc. I'm going to get up all in her grill. There we go. The devices are really, really nice on this coin. You see all the stars all around it. Uh, you've got, let me try to focus a little bit more. There we go. And now let me flip this over on the back. One half franc. 1945. Look at the detail on the back of that coin. It's awesome. So from 1945. So for this one, we are going to, Fiat the Story says, I love my Swiss silver. Yeah, this is a nice one. I had two Swiss francs last week, uh, which sold, which were, which was a beautiful piece. Uh, I'm going to start this one at, and this is, this is 800 silver, guys. 800 silver. All right. So we are going to start this at eight dollars. Um, it's just a very nice piece. Let me uh, zoom out a little bit. There, that's better. So we are starting at eight. We got Sireg 2112. Uh, and Method Marine, if you're still in here, I don't know if you've purchased from uh, Guido before or if you've done an actual transaction. I've seen you on there. Um, but if you want to send a $1 PayPal, that $1 PayPal will be credited to uh, a future transaction if you want to register. And then I can add you to my list. Uh, and Marine, I have to add you. Uh, we got Wade Toy at 9, Gabriel at 10. Telling Eddie Ralph what's going on. 800 finds a Zach. We got Gabriel UC at 10. This thing is a very, very pretty coin. I forget who, who it was in here. Zach, I agree with you. Uh, Swiss is, is, silver and gold is perfect. What do, what do you mean 800 silver? So it, it consists of, I believe, 0.835 uh, silver. So um, the coin shop uh, owner was telling me that 
you just call that 800 silver. If it's like 90%, you call it 900 silver. Because if you think about it, sometimes you go 999, fine. Right. So it, it just is like a designation for the purity of that coin. I haven't purchased from Greedo. I'll PayPal you to register. Method Marine. Thank you. It's just to protect ourselves. And it's only a dollar. And I know how silly that seems. It's, and again, that dollar is going to get um, that will get credited to you on a future transaction. Um, it's just to help weed out the trolls because Guido and I are keeping a list and we're checking it twice. And we're trying to see who's trolling once or twice. I don't know. I couldn't think of a rhyme. All right. So we're at 10 for Gabe. And I'm going to start counting this down. I'll flip it over one more time. Um, flipping it over one more time. And then we're going to start counting this down. And then we'll start doing some giveaway action. All right. I have to move along, people. Silver City, dude, so soon. Counting it down. Three, two, one. We're going to do the pause. Let's see if anybody is going to get this and typing in sold, sold to Gabriel for $10. Congrats, Gabriel. That will go in with your, with your grizzly bears. All right. All right. So let me check once or twice. That's not very nice. I know coach. They've done that a couple times. Uh, I've got people who have bid and didn't pay and same with Guido and he and I were talking today actually. And, uh, it's just not, it really is. It's not just Guido and I losing a sale, but there's items that you guys want and are bidding on. And because there's somebody that isn't serious, they are running up these prices. They win, they don't pay. You guys miss out on the item. And then let's say the following week, you're not able to be there. We put the item back up for auction. That item is gone and you missed out. It, it's just, it's annoying. All right, guys, here's Terry79. We weren't supposed to tell you, but yes, you are. Terry79, is she here? I didn't see her. I didn't see her. Am I on the trolls list? No, Terry, you can never be on the troll list. By the way, Silver Trooper or Ozzy, how many people do we have on here right now? I'm going to start with another item, too, as you guys are getting that info for me. I'm going to put up a nice item, and then after that, I'm going to do a big one. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so this one is gorgeous vintage. Well, I guess not vintage. It's more historic. Check this out. All right. This is a uh, Stone Mountain 1925 half dollar. I just PayPal you. Thanks again for letting me participate. Method Marine, thank you for being legit, buddy. And I've seen you before, and, you know, it's hard to just go off of hunches. Uh, we've even had people, um, you know, bid, and we've had people pay on, on one auction and then just skip out on the others. So Method Marine, I'm just going to just confirm. Yep, you're there, buddy. Thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate you. All right. So here we go. Um, this is a 1925 Stone Mountain uh, half dollar. And this was to memorialize the Confederate soldier. Lee the Nerd, it's about darn time, man. I was thinking you broke up with me, Lee the Nerd. You're getting too big for your britches. If you don't know Lee the Nerd, guys, you need to know Lee the Nerd. This coin, by the way, is so cool. Um, this is, uh, that is where we start, is at 20, but don't start doing anything yet. It's 90% silver. And again, this is to commemorate the Confederate soldier. All right. So this is a Stone Mountain silver half dollar from 1925. Look at the detail on this thing. I've never seen this coin before until my uh, local coin shop showed me it. I'm going to zoom in. You can see the detail on the horse, on their clothing. I mean, this is awesome. This is an awesome, awesome coin. I'm going to flip it around. The back, I should say the reverse, is really cool. You get to see all the definition of the feathers in the, in the eagle. The, you can see the stars. It says, a memorial to the valor of the soldier of the south. All right. This is a super cool coin. Again, look at the devices on that bird. You can see all the the different uh, feathers on it. 
Uh, you can see the stars right there. Very pretty coin. Let me flip it back over. All right. So we are going to Stone Mountain, Georgia, says the uh, Shore Shannon show. We are going to start this at $20. You can start your bidding. We're going to start this at $20. It is an awesome coin. <clears throat> and it's got incredible detail on it. We got Emmerine at 20. And after this, we will probably do um, some giveaway action. We got Armando at 24. Definitely on pace to pass 20, but I think it's all temporary next to me. What's up, Guido? Yeah, this is a very cool historic coin. Sure, Shannon Show picked it up right away. He knew. All right, so we got Armando from the vault at $24, guys. Armando is at 24. And then uh, we got Surig coming in at 23, but we got Armando at 24. Let me flip it again to the reverse. Again, it's 90% silver. 25 for Fiat Destroyer. Yeah, guys, save those bucket bucks because we're going to do some uh, giveaway action right after this item. We got Silver Troopers at 26. Again, guys, this is a really cool coin. I, I'm i newer to Graham Stackers at 27. I am newer to the uh, numismatic game, obviously, from the way I speak. Uh, call him the Denver Mint, the Delaware Mint. Uh, <laughs> call and using all sorts of crazy terminology, luster and fields and, and all that stuff. We got Fiat, Armando jumping over Fiat at 30. But this is a really cool coin. Again, it's to commemorate the valor of the uh, soldier of the South. And you don't really get a whole lot of uh, coins to commemorate the South. Uh, Graham is at 32. Look at you can even see the the pins or sorry the pins the buttons on the coats. I mean this coin is in exquisite shape. Uh, I'm gonna try to get in real close so you can really see. That might be as close as I could get. Let me back out there. There we go. Are you getting restrictions? Age? Yeah, Ozzy. We um are you age restricting? Yes, you have to be 18 or over in order to bid. Now your big term is devices, Silver Trooper. That's right, man. I, I'm learning. Look at the devices on it. The devices are sharp here. Got some dev sharp devices. All right, so we got Graham is at 32. You can even see the uh the wrinkles in their pants, uh the sword. I mean, this is a gorgeous coin. All right, so we got Graham at 32. Dover Mint. That's right, sir. 33 for Fiat. Fiat's at 33. We got some nice buttons, says Terry. Nice buttons. Silver Trooper. No, Fiat's at 33. We got Fiat Destroyer at 33. I got to add Fiat to my list. Fiat destroyer in fact guido if you're on man you could be updating that list as i'm going man i got a few more for our list silver troopers at 34 we've got armando on our list of vetted uh bidders uh all right so we got silver trooper at 34 i will do the reverse one more time um graham said he's out i want you guys to see the level of detail that is still present on this coin which is nearly a hundred years old you can see all of the stars. Your pluribus unum at the top. All right. And back here. All right, guys. So I'm going to start counting this. We got Silver Troopers at 34, and we're going to start counting it at three. And we're going to do a giveaway in just a moment, too. So save your bucket bucks. We got one. And... Sold to Silver Trooper. Congrats, my friend. Silver Trooper, congratulations. Guys, make sure that you are including $4 shipping. 
$4 shipping and make sure you're doing it goods and services. Goods and services. Uh, 34 to silver trooper. And we're going to get ready for a giveaway. And this is a very fun game. All right, guys. Here we go. Let's switch over to Beware of Gonk Cam. Again, for those of you that are just coming in, this is how this game works. When I tell you to enter, leave a nerd. What the heck? Wow. 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 I just, uh, all right. Give uh, 10,000. Lee the nerd. Holy cow, Lee. Thank you so much. Lee single-handedly just bumped us way over the edge on that one. Uh, we are over the goal. Absolutely. Lee the nerd. Thank you so much. Do you still want friends and family, or can we go full Novus being age-restricted? Do you still want family-friendly? No, no, no. Family-friendly, absolutely, Ozzy. We are family-friendly. Love you too, Lee. Dude, that was crazy, man. Thank you so much, Lee. You did not need to do that. Thank you so much. Uh, that is incredibly generous of you. I have to reset this now. I have to upgrade giveaway. The giveaway for this, by the way, guys, was in the this box. And it was another Stormtrooper coin. This just got upgraded. I'm going to change these boxes up real quick, guys. Uh, <clears throat> Thank you so much, Lee the Nerd. I just, uh, I'm, I'm pretty dumbfounded and speechless that you did that, to be quite honest. I'm just changing some things around here, changing some thing-a-ding-dings. One second. One second. I just have to move some stuffs around. You know what I'm saying, guys? I'm moving some stuffs around. All right, <clears throat> switch up the boxes a little bit. One more second. You guys totally changed everything up on me, Lee. Holy God. Did that stupid thing move at least? And by the way, guys, if you, oh, it did. Guys, if you aren't subscribed to Lee the Nerd, please subscribe to the man. That is generosity is, uh, is insane. Him. Grog the Devourer, Guido Stacking, C Rod, Graham Stacker, uh, Coach, like all of you guys, everybody in here. Jamie Huerta, you guys are are awesome. Um, thank you so much. For reals. All right. I'm I'm still trying to figure out what the heck to upgrade this with, because honestly, I wasn't uh expecting that. All right, so we did that. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hold on. Hold on. Almost done, guys. You can you can keep gambling if you'd like, but I would suggest you you hold it. All right. And again, just because we're upgrading the uh what do you call it? The prize doesn't mean that like the grand prize could be in any of the boxes, just so you know. Just so you know. <clears throat> All right, I think I got it. All right. One second, guys. I apologize. I just want to do you do you right. All right. Uh, what did I put in that one? Okay, that, and that, and that. Check, 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 and then this one. Check. Okay, guys, sorry for all that downtime. I'm going to give you guys all a free entry. How's that? How is that? All right, we got the mystery box right there. We've got box number one. Grammy, did you... Just give me a five spot, dude. Graham, man, you're, thank you, dude. 
I just saw it. I just turned and looked. We got box number two. Let me just double check. Yep, box number two. And we got box number three. And this is on me. Here we go, guys. Let me give you guys this. Uh, I think I met Lee the Nerd through LA. Oh, cool. All right, guys. No, the, the giveaway hasn't started yet because I have to give you guys a free entry. All right. When I say go, you can start typing in enter. Everybody go. Guido stacking with the 10 spot. Wow, Guido. Thank you. Thank you so much. Guido stacking with the 10 spot. That puts us guys at $190 for the evening in Super Chats. Um, I don't know why the uh, thing there is. So everybody start typing exclamation mark enter. Exclamation mark enter. And you'll be entered to win a prize. Very cool. All right. Give you guys a few more moments before I close it up. Thank you so much, guys, for those super chat donations. We got Ralph's trucking here. Grog. <laughs> Guido made a typo. Bro, thank you. Thank you so much, guys. That puts us at $200. Of super chats for the evening. I don't know why that stupid goal thing isn't going. Um, unless I, unless my math was off. Um, so all right, I'm gonna start closing it, and then three, two, one, and it is closed. All right, Batissimo is gonna pick a winner. And the winner, Wade Toy. It says Wade Toy is the winner. Wade Toy. It says you are the winner. Wade, you got to tell me, do you want box one, two, or three? Lee the nerd. My God. With the $10. What are you doing, man? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, Lee the nerd? Lee the nerd with 110 Oh, my God. Are you auctioning gold tonight? Fiat, not tonight, but I did order some. I have some cool stuff coming. All right. So, uh, Wade Toy, uh, let me know what it is that you want. Wade Toy, which box would you like? Again, guys, you need to be 18 in order to be in here. Wade Toy, pick a box, buddy. Pick a box. Which box would you like? One, two, or three, Wade? And then we can, uh, this one or this one. Two. He chooses two. Let's see. He got the Stormtrooper. Wade, do you want to keep the Stormtrooper? Or would you like to go for the red mystery box? The red mystery box could be a downgrade, an upgrade. It could be the dreaded gonk. What would you like? What would you like to do, Wade? Would you like to go for the red mystery box? Or would you like to stay with the stormtrooper, Wade Toy? And I'm looking in the chat. Let's see. I want to know if he wants to go for the red. Meatman says it's orange. Everybody's saying to go for the red. What do you want to go with there, buddy? I'm looking for Wade. I'm not seeing his comment. Wade, what are we doing? You got to choose. We can't hold the stream up hostage. I'm going to have to move along. Move along. Move along. Keep it. All right, Wade Toy. He's going to keep the coin. Wade, make sure you email me your contact information. Wade Toy with the Stormtrooper win. Nice job, Wade Toy. Stormtrooper Wade Toy. All right. That means, guys, in any of these crates, the upgrade could be there. He said keep it. Thank you, Silver Trooper. Thank you. All right, guys.
Let's jump back over here. And again, thank you to you guys for your generous, generous super chats for real. Uh, so greatly appreciated. Um, it's, it's tremendous that you guys are doing that. Here we go, guys. Let's go with this coin. Um, this is, uh, you have a 40 second delay or do I? No, there is like a 30 to 40 second delay now. It, it's the, the lag is, is, is annoying to say the least. Um, Guido was uh, experiencing it the other day, as am I. All right, guys, here we go. This is very unique. It is an 1886 MS-63 bag-toned silver Morgan. And I will show you this in just a moment. This is a 1963 bag-toned silver Morgan NGC MS-63. Here is, there's that. All right, there's the barcode. All right, now here is the toning. I'm going to try to turn this. You could see it right there. Guys, if you look right here, this is where you can see there's a good angle right there. Here's where a coin was on top of this silver Morgan right there to form that uh, gibbous moon. And over here, right, I'm trying to see it right there. You could see there was another coin there resting on it. So we got an 1886 silver Morgan with two markings there from toning from the other uh, Morgan dollars that were resting on it in those bank bags for so many years. All right. Flip it over. Very pretty coin. There it is right there. You can get another shot of it. It's it's a little bit clearer in person, but you can see right there where the, where the co coins were resting right on top. Let's flip her around. The back, guys, the reverse of this is gorgeous. It's like an, a deep orange. I'm going to try to turn this in the light. Do you see that? It's like almost like a bronze kind of uh, toning to it, like an orange hue. And it's pretty much toned all except above the uh, eagle's head and right by the wing there. Um, but do you see how this is in right down where it kind of says dollar? But you guys can see how it's got this orange rust colored toning throughout this entire reverse. A gorgeous coin. Gorgeous coin. And I'll flip it back over to the obverse again. And let me try to get this at a certain angle. All right. So we are going to start her up at. Here we go. We're going to start it out at 65. 65 for the NGC MS63 cartwheel galore. That's right, Terry79. We're starting this coin at 65. And then I'll show the reverse again because I know you guys were asking for um, some Morgans that were toned. And uh, there we go. You could see the toning right there, too. Great hair detail. Wade Toy email sent. Thank you. So we are at 65. I'll flip it back over. Okay. All right. I'm not seeing any bids on this one, so I'm going to start counting it. I'm going to start counting it. I don't think you guys realize what you got here in front of you. But I'm going to start counting this one down. Three, two, one. No bid. Closed. She moves on. We move on to another item. We move on to another item. We are going to do this item. 
Here we go. I got to move this over. This is the real deal. Guru Markman closed, buddy. Unfortunately. Closed. Here we go. This, my friends, a couple people actually ended up reaching out to me for this. Some of you know what this is. Some of you don't. This is a Carson City GSA Morgan Dollar in the original packaging. Let me put this down. Hold on, guys. Okay. Here is some of the documentation that came with this. And here it is. Let me put this down. All right. Still in the original holder. Sorry for the Blair Witch Project effects there, guys. 1884, Carson City. I'll flip it to the reverse in just a moment. But this is a gorgeous, gorgeous coin. It's in the original government. Um, and I'll just read to you guys real quick. In 1962, uh, an individual redeemed a silver certificate and got a rare Morgan, which uh, caused a, a, a ton of hype. So uh, the U.S. Treasury, they discovered an unknown, uh, unknown mint bags of Carson City Morgans. And in 1918, the Pittman Act had over 270 uh, million uh, dollars worth melted down and treasury officials held these back. So these are referred to the uh, government services administration hoard. And so then in 1970, what ended up happening guys is uh, the government decided to uh, sell these all basically in silent auctions. And they uh, would allow people to send them checks uh, for what they wanted to bid on these Morgans. And uh, oftentimes, if the checks were sent in and were not uh, enough, they would get uh, refunded. So um, then what ended up happening is after the sales ran, I think there were seven different sales over, like I believe it was like 12 years. What ended up happening is a lot of coin dealers started cracking these out of these holders. So now these are actually more sought after because they are still in these original GSA holders. So you guys would be getting the original GSA holder along with the packaging. So we are going to start the bidding on this beautiful piece at 220. So we are going to be doing this at 220 to start this bidding. These go for a pretty penny. If you look on like JM Bullion or Atmax or whatever, they, they're going for a pretty penny. That's right, Michael uh, Kittle Rare Coins, exactly. So we are at 220 on the on the GSA. And mind you guys, you're not paying tax with me either. And a couple of you specifically asked for this coin and happened to be here this evening. So hopefully you're in here right now and not on a potty break. We got coach at 20. <laughs> got coach at 220. Again, guys, Carson City Morgan Dollar in the GSA original packaging. This is a steal. Coach is at 220. Got that there. This thing is gorgeous. Never been circulated. And we are going to start counting it down then to Coach. Coach is going to be real happy. He's probably telling me, stop blabbing and do it. So we are counting down, Coachy. And if you see Mr. Monkey Swag, he's saying 1884. These are $200 is raw. This is in the packaging. Thank you, Monkey Swag. I know you know your stuff, Monkey. I don't. One. And see if any snipes. There's a little bit of a lag. And sold to Coach. Coach just got an incredible 
deal. Nice job, coach. Coach, you got it. 220. Nicely done. Great, great coin. Coach, congrats on that win. Let me put that aside. Good job, buddy. Nice job. Let me put the uh, thousand before I forget. Coach, <laughs> I knew you would like that, buddy. I knew you'd like it. Let me just find it here. Plus, with silver spot going up today, Coach, you did really well on this one. No tax? Coach, you made out like a bandit, if you ask me. All right. All right, guys. We're going to do a vintage bar. We're going to do a vintage bar. Correct, Monkey Swag. They were not graded. That's correct. Just raw in the GSA slab. All right, guys. Three nines. That's insane. This next item up is going to be, let's just find it on here, <clears throat> a vintage. Let me get it out of the bag. You guys wanted vintage bars? You got vintage bars. This is similar to what we did last week. Somebody bought a Stanley Steamer or a uh, Roadster Stanley Steamer, <laughs> the, the rug cleaning company. They bought a Roadster. Now I got this vintage bar, which is based off of a famous steam engine, the General. So this is a one ounce silver bar. Let me flip it around and it's got some toning. This is from the Madison Mint and it's got some toning on the upper edges there. And this really nice bar can be yours tonight. We are going to start this. Method Marine 220. We are starting this off at 22 for this, which is very close to today's spot. And you got a vintage bar. You got Gabe at 23. He wasted no time to jump on this. Sireg 2112 is 25. I don't know about that, Donald, in New Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> made from a silver road. I think it was made from the silver hip replacement that Donald New Mexico had, and it didn't fit him. Guru Mark is at 28. Again, you guys have been asking uh, Guido Stacking and me for some vintage stuff, and uh, this item uh, is a vintage bar for sure. And uh, you guys like the Roadster, and uh, so I ended up getting the uh, General. So we're at Guru Mark at 28, and we can start counting it. Fiat Destroyer, you take care, bro. Thank you so much for coming. We're going to start counting it down. Three, two, one. And guys, again, sorry for the meat man with the snipe at 29. 29 for Mr. Meat. Just sniped right before. We could uh, we could do it before we can close it. So we got Meat Man at 29. We have a, a bunch more items to get through, so I want to try to move this along. Two. Whoopsie daisy. Let's start it over. Three. Two. Silver Coin Outdoors, what's going on? Thank you so much for coming in here. One. I mean, it's very intricate. And sold to Mr. Meat. Meat Man with the bar at 29. Meat Man. Meat Man, Meat Man with the bar at 29. Nice win, buddy. Let me give you your 1,000 bucket bucks. We're going to jump over to some giveaway action. One second. 
And again, guys, thank you so much for those super chat donations, guys. Um, we were able to upgrade our uh, our prize. So let me write this down. We got the train going to Meat Man for twenty nine, and it's four dollars shipping, Meat Man. Yeah, ECP. We're around twenty eight seconds. I was doing that to Guido last night as well. Uh, so we are going to switch over to the game. It's giveaway time. Don't start entering until I say. Don't start entering until I say. I could get rid of this crate. And again, guys, if we hit that threshold, if we hit another $100 mark, we can reset and upgrade again. Uh, here we go. Let me restart. Okay, guys, it's 2,000 bucket bucks to get in. Go ahead. The game is open. Meet Man, I'm giving you your money. Wade Toy, uh, I'm not sure as to why. I don't know if you have it set to your iTunes or what. I'm not sure. Did you see my vid stormy got my vid stormy? Did you see my vid stormy got busted? No. I'm gonna have to check. But um, but yeah. So guys, enter, enter, enter. Keep going. Keep going, guys. Richo, I'm trying to find uh, the video that you're... Oh, stealing my silver. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> She's just taking your stuff. <laughs> Richo, I love it, brother. <laughs> She looks just like me. <laughs> nice, Richo. Love it, dude. Too funny, man. All right. We're waiting for the last few people to get into this giveaway. All right. And we are going to... Thank you, Meat Man. And we're going to close it. Three, two... One, and it is closed. Okay. We are closed now with the entries, and here we go. We are going to pick the winner. Alexander Stoth is the winner, it says. Alexander Stoth. Congratulations. Alexander, do you want box one or box three? Nice job. You won last night, too, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, thank you, ECP, for doling out some cash there, bro. Uh, Alexander Staw, one or three? Because I'm pretty sure Alexander won last night on Guido's uh, auction. We're just waiting to see what he wants, one or three. And again, guys, for every 100, we reset the game and just upgrade the prize. Uh, let's go three. All right, here we go, he says. All right, what do we got here? Alexander, we've got a 50%. I'm oh, sorry, 50%. We got a 90% Benjamin Franklin half dollar. We've got a 90% Merck. We've got a 90% quarter. We've got a Roosevelt dime. Do you want to keep these? Do you want to keep the constitutional silver or do you want to try to go for the red box? 
the mystery box. What do you want to do there, pal? What do you want to do? So I'm just waiting to see Alexander Stoth's comment. And if you want to go for the mystery, do you want to keep it? It's nearly a dollar in constitutional. Again, that upgraded prize is somewhere in here, as well as the gunk. The Benjamin Franklins are awesome. Meat Man is saying go for the orange. Still waiting on Alexander Stoth. He says he loves the Benjamin Franklins. Let's go for it. Here we go. He's going for the uh, the mystery box. All right, so this prize goes away. He's saying, I don't want that. He tosses it, spits on it on the ground. Guys, let's see. Is he lucky? Does he win or does he lose? Let's see if the gonk is in here. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, is there a gonk in there? Do you guys see it? We got the upgraded prize. We've got the upgraded prize. Congratulations, Alexander Stoth. You've got the uh, Darth Vader new A coin. So congratulations there. And guys, I'm going to show this on the other camera. This is gorgeous. Uh, check this out here. I was going to start the auction off on this one. This is a 1927 Standing Liberty really really amazing detail still on this piece very very nice for my lcs check that out nice job on that win that's how it is done as well as get my boss darth vader alexander stoth nice job uh lee the nerd he he shoved that uh that prize right over so uh alexander Congratulations on that, buddy. Um, nicely done. Let me write it down. Alexander Stoth gets the Vader and the Standing Liberty. Good job, pal. Which means then, everybody, the gunk was in here. You guys won. Congrats. Guys, if you want to play again, I believe we're about 50 bucks from that goal. So we'll put that there. Guys, good job avoiding the gonk droid, by the way. So let's go back over here, guys. Let's continue on. We have a few more items for auction. Uh, Jamie Huerta, if you're still here, we've got some morbidly obese. Type 2 Diabetes Panders. We got the Panders. Let's take a look. We got the 2013 MS-70 Annex Panda Bears. They're just drinking their Kool-Aid, hanging out, having a good old time. Um, so let's flip this bad boy, or I should say these bad boys around. There's the reverse. And again, that was a great win, Alexander Stoth. ECP says pandas. By the way, guys, ECP, he is one of the few people that has seen my face. Uh, ECP is a great guy, one of my uh, really strong moderators in here. He helps me out, iron out the kinks with my Batissimo. Uh, he, he chats with me um, on all sorts of different uh, coins, uh, just everyday life. The guy's got a sick channel. i uh, become very friendly with him over the last uh, several months, and I'm really hoping to meet up with him and, and his wife uh, in, in the near future. But if you don't know ECP, guys, you definitely need to uh, – you definitely <laughs> – you like that I called them panders? You definitely need to check out ECP's channel. Uh, he's also getting very close to the thousand mark, so I'd like to push him over there. And again, I want to just congratulate my boy uh, Richo for hitting that milestone. And now he just blew right through that one thousand. Um, he just blew right past it. Uh, all right, so here we go. We got some Ermagerd Pernderbird says three nines. So we're gonna do these panders. All right, we're gonna start these morbidly obese panders. 
really cheaply at 25. Go. Bigfoot Silver, what is up? What is up? We got 27 for Gabe. Too bad Jamie Huerta isn't in here. He loves him some panders. We got Guru Mark. He said, I want those panders. <laughs> There's Jamie. There he is. He's like, I got to bring those morbidly obese <laughs> pandas. What is that show on uh, TLC? Like my 600-pound life or something like that? Emmerine is at 34. Emmerine is at 34. And Emmerine, if you win, your dollar goes to uh, – your dollar will go to your purchase. Um, Wade Toy, thank you so much for your $5 super chat. Wade, I will add you to the um, – to the uh, registered uh, bidders list uh, after this evening. And again, guys, if you check out that bid, that bidder list and uh, you don't see your name on there, but you've either super chatted me or you've done some previous auctions and have paid me before and I just didn't, um, I forgot you, just let me know. And I'll add you on there. 600 pound life says Guru Mark. We've got Stoth at 38. We had Gabe at 37. We got Stoff at 38. Optimus Locus at 39. Again, guys, uh, biggest loser. Big <laughs> biggest loser. Biggest loser panda edition. All right, we got Gabe at 40. We got a we got a little bidding war here on the morbidly obese panders. We gotta bump those panders. What the heck? Oh, my God. Lee the Nerd just reset the gunk, everybody. Guys, Lee the Nerd just reset the gunk. Uh, Bigfoot, I appreciate you for coming in here, man. I, I You should stick around, buddy, um, because if you play the games, man, we just we got another generous donation from Lee the Nerd. Uh, we're going to reset the gunk game, and it's your chance to win some prizes. Lee the Nerd, dude, you're, you're too kind. Thank you so much. You just bumped us up. Uh, to the 200 mark for sure. Why the U.S. dollar thing? It's just sitting there at 151. I think it's lagging uh, for sure. But um, thank you so much for that uh, super chat donation, Lee the Nerd. Um, we will reset the gunk. I, that puts us at around like 250 right about uh, or two, 210, if I'm not mistaken. I'm waiting for the stupid m meter to go. We got game at 42. Lee the Nerd, thank you, man. We're going to reset that game in just a moment. Uh, let's see. No Saints, how are you? Thank you for coming. John Knight with the $5 super chat. All right, we're going to start counting this down. We got uh, 43 for Stoth. Thank you so much for that super chat, John Knight. You guys, I appreciate you. Thank you so much, John Knight. And I believe, John, you are on the registered list. I believe I have you on that registered list. Lee the Nerd, I get you to start bidding on some silver. I, I first person to be into stacking, both in the community and actual physical silver in his hands. Jamie Huerta's at 44. Uh, Jamie Huerta's at 44. It's MS70, Stoth. It's MS70. 2013 Annex MS70. Again, guys, if you um, never either super chatted or uh, have done um, Silver Turtle, what's going on, brother? Good to see you. Good to see you. MS70, Yazi. Yep. Uh, guys, again, also make sure if you're paying, make sure you're paying by, uh, what do you call it? Oh, God, help me out here. Goods and Services. Goods and services, $4 flat shipping. That's if you win multiple items, it's $4 flat. Uh, we are going to do this giveaway in just a moment. I really don't understand why that super chat meter is not moving. I'm going to have to talk to player.me. Michael I, what is going on, bro? Good to see you in the house. All right, we're going to start counting it. We got Jamie at 46. Jamie is at 46. We're going to start counting it down at three, two. This is a 2013 one. And Alexander Stoth with the Guru Mark with the 49. Darn straight, Terry. That's the spirit. You tell him, Terry. Jamie Huerta is at 50. We got Jamie Huerta is at 50. 
Good remarks of 51. We got a battle on the morbidly obese family of pandas. 2013 Annex MS70. Look at these beauties. Just sipping their water. Having a good old time in their bamboo forest. Jimmy Hurts is a 52. Don't forget, guys, too, if you purchase your items by the end of the stream, free silver is included in your purchase. All right, we got Jamie Huerta at at four, uh, 52, and we're going to start counting this down at three because then we're going to reset the gunk game. Two. More pandas, I see. Michael I. Oh, I got pandas, brother. One guru marks at 53. We have got a battle on these pandas. I'm not sure as to what it is. They really like these. Do I have to register Stormtrooper? Rockzilla, I've seen you before, bro. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, because you've never done any business with me in the past or super chatted or anything like that, if you want to do a PayPal donation of $1, that would uh, that would suit me just fine. Or do a PayPal of 99 um, a super chat of a dollar, that's fine too. It's just to weed out 53 is Guru Mark. Uh, it's just to weed out the uh, – I, I vouch for no saints. Okay, cool, Infamous. Uh, the gunk is reset, Gabriel. The gunk is reset, bro. Uh, 53 for Guru, Mark. Um, but, yeah, if you guys haven't bid before or purchased items before or paypal or super chatted or anything like that, um, Guido and I are looking for you guys to register with us. Uh, Armando from the vault, I will check in just one moment, for, uh, my friend. All right, we're going to start counting this down. Three, two, one. And double checking that we got Guru Mark at 53. Sold to Guru Mark for 53 Panda Bears. 53. I'm at 937. Thank you very much, ECP, bro. You know that. Anytime you come in here, man, I'm going to shout you out. You know that. Um, and all of my moderators in here, guys, they are moderators for a reason. Uh, I would highly recommend, depending on what you guys do for live streams or whatnot, you guys want to be uh, – you guys want these guys as moderators. They are awesome, and their content is also awesome as well. Guru Mark for the pandas at 53. All right, guys, let's reset this uh, gunk game. All right, let's get that started. I'm going to give Guru Mark, give Guru Mark 10. I got to give you a thousand bucket bucks. Uh, Pontiac Life, we just did a grizzly bear earlier for uh, Canadian uh, wildlife. Um, but guys, stick around because I got we're gonna do the um, beware of gunk game. We're gonna reset these and uh, let's get this party started. You guys gamble. Uh, ECP, if you want to give a thousand dollars to the house uh, for me, my friend. All right. We're resetting El Gonco. Resetting El Gonco. Okay. Dun dun. Just getting all sorts of goodies out. Bear with me, guys. A couple different thingies. Okay, then. You hear that? Listen to that. Listen to that. Clangy, clang, clang, jangle, jangle. All right. We got the mystery box. Whoop. Rockzilla, you're set, man. Thank you for that, Rockzilla. You're registered. Uh, again, guys, this is a newer thing, initiative that we don't are doing. We were starting to get a couple people just bidding on stuff with no intention to purchase anything. Uh, so we uh, are putting in some measures because it's not fair to you guys. It's not fair to us. So, uh, so yeah. So um, that's reset. All right. Let me end this. And we're going to start. All right, guys. Get going. Start entering. Start entering the giveaway, guys. Start entering the giveaway.
All right. We got Emma Rain, Silver Trooper, Wade Toy, three nines in here. And guys, every time that hundred dollar mark is met, for whatever reason, it just froze at 152. We will keep on uh, resetting it. I kept track. We are at um, around 210 for this, I believe 210, because then it started going. Then I stopped keeping track. But Lee was like, let's check this thing out. Um, Check out Native Stacker's comment. Let me go up. Let me go up. Let me go up. Um, hey, everyone. Good to see you. Tell somebody to go back and look at my comment. Oh, my gosh. Let's go all the way up. I just stopped in for a minute to say hi and tell you your wife called and said, stop yelling. You're keeping the kids up. Just kidding. I mentioned you in my new video. Check it out. Okay. At first, I had my heart beat. My heart did skip a beat. Silver Nitrate. Thank you, Silver Nitrate. I will add you to the uh, registered uh, bidder list. Again, that can be seen if you guys go to my website, secondservetrooper.com in the auction section. Uh, I believe I also put it in the um, description. Uh, there's a link there. So Silver Nitrate, I got you. Okay. All right, guys. All right. We are closing it in three, two, one, and closed. All right, guys. The uh, game is closed, and we are going to pick the winner. And the winner, Richo's Hunting Treasure. Richo's Hunting Treasure. It showed up on my thing. Beware of gunk. Boom. Richo's Hunting Treasure, congratulations. What would you like to choose? One, two, or three, Richo? One, two, or three. Terry79, well, lucky for you that my moderators and I are generous and give you guys the uh, bucket box. All right, let's see. He says he's three. Yes, Rob Mayers, you're on the list. Oh, look, it's returned. It's like just about a dollar in constitutional. It's a little variety set here of constitutional coins, guys. We've got the Benjamin Franklin half dollar, awesome coin. We've got the Roosevelt. We've got the Mercury, and we've got the George Washington. Richo's hunting treasure. He chose one, and I just picked three. Whoops. He said one, and I just picked three. Here we go. <laughs> well, Richo, do you want this one? <laughs> I could actually, I'm gonna, let me flip them around. Here we go. He picked one. I'm gonna fix some stuff here. Hang on. He picked, he picked one and I picked three. I was reading somebody else's thing because I'm seeing numbers flying. What do you want to do here? Oh boy. Sorry, Richo, you're like, I want one. I'm like, all right, I'll choose three in that case. All right, you want one. So, Richo, do you want to keep it? All good? Okay. I have, I, I left it the same. I wanted to do a sleight of hand. It's in here. So, do you want to keep it or you want to go for the red box, Richo? Sorry about that, bro. Do you want to keep it or do you want to go for the red box? Lady Bullion, hey, how are you? Good to see you. All right, Richo, so do you want to keep it or do you want to go for the red box? Keep three. Richo, good choice. Richo, congratulations. Richo is keeping that. That could have been the grand prize. I don't know. It's close to a dollar in um uh close to a dollar in constitutional. All right, Richo, congratulations, buddy. All right, let's keep going with the auction. We uh we're in here about an hour and a half. We got a handful of more auction items. And then we are going to start calling it a night. We will try to finish out the Beware of Gonk game. All right, guys. Here is a cool piece. Picked this up very recently. We've got a 1941 Walker. 1941 Walker. That's not what he said. I know, Armando. He said he, he wanted he wanted one. I accidentally chose three, but he said he was cool with three. Richard said red. Hold on. Let's go back up. 
Uh, it's because I'm behind. He said, Red, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me look for it. Red box. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Got a delay. Here we go. Here we go. The red box says Richo. All right. Just so we're on the same page. All right. He said red box. Right? Richard said red. Everything. Richard said red. Richard said red. Here we go. Sorry for the uh, delay there, Richo. All right, man. So the prize for this, he said he wanted to get rid of the constitutional. He wants to go for the red. Let's see what's in the red. Gonk. The gonk droid. Sorry, Richo. Sorry for the gonk. Sorry for the gonk, Richo. Silver nitrate. It's exactly right. Richo, man, I'm sorry, brother. I was trying to steer you in the direction of keeping it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. It's all right, Richo. We, we've had some pretty generous donations this evening. If we got a few more um, donations, we are definitely probably going to reset the game. We are close to hitting a, uh, another uh, threshold there. So here we go, guys. We have the um, – and here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give Richo – Richo's hunting treasure – all that to be gonked, I know. All right, here we go. We got the 1941 Liberty half dollar. And we are going to start this pretty coin off relatively low at $6. Go, hold all games for now. Hold all games for now. Conk in the tunk. This is Andrew Frying Fam. We're starting this one at six. Got John Knight at 10. We got John Knight at 10. Hold all gambling games, guys. Please. All right, we got Steve Woods at 11. Guys, if you're not a uh, registered, um, if you're not a registered uh, bidder, uh, Steve Woods, I've seen you before, but um, I've I've never uh, done any uh, transactions with you. And Guido and I are trying to put in a fail safe to to prevent some trolls. So if you want to um, bid, we are just asking that. Well, I am. I'm not going to speak for Guido. Uh, but I would ask that you just either do like a, a $1 super chat, which could be applied to your um, next purchase or or a um, or a PayPal, however you feel comfortable. But I would then put you on the registered list. Um, so we got Wade Toy at 11. We got Wade Toy at 11. And I'll start counting it down. I'll do the reverse one more time. Alexander Stoth is at 12. This is a really nice coin. Let me uh, get the focus in on that. There we go. We got Alexander at 12. Uh, Steve Woods, um, earlier too, Rockzilla just did a uh, $1 super chat, which came through, which to me was was fine. Uh, you could do that too if you want. Um, Terry, there's other big... All right, Steve Woods, you're good then, bro. Thank you. Terry, Guido and I have had um, people bid and win, and then people in here like Coach and Lady Bullion and another person, I think either Silver Trooper, lost out on uh, <laughs> the trophy, have lost out on some... Um, auction items because of it very recently so um so that's one of the reasons i'm doing this and i think guido is going to do it as well we got steve woods at 13 and i'll start counting this one down so we get to the other items on the auction block alexander stoth at 14 
<laughs> Donald in Mexico. I like it though. You gotta pay the troll toll. If you wanna get in the boys hole, you gotta get the troll toll to get in. If anybody knows what that's from, say it in the chat. You gotta pay the troll toll. You gotta get in the boy soul. You gotta pay the troll toll to get in. Anybody knows what that is? Let me know. Alexander Strauss at 14. Got Alexander Strauss at 14. And I'm going to start counting this down. Three, two, one. And <laughs> sold to the Stothinator. Nice job, Stoth. About time you get something that you got to pay for. <laughs> you keep winning all of our stuff. <laughs> Alexander Stroth, nice job on that walker for uh, 14. Alexander Stroth for the walker at 14. Guys, again, it is a $4 uh, flat shipping. Um, and that can, uh, let me just make sure. Okay, this goes to you as well. Uh, it's four dollars flat, no matter how many items you win. And it's from Always Sunny. You got it, No Saints J. Boom, No Saints giving you one thousand. No S eight N T S. No Saints J and a thousand. One thousand two. Alexander Stoff. All right, Alexander. Cool, man. All right. Let's see what else we've got. We've got about one, two, three, four. We've got about five or six more items. Five or six more items. This one is fairly new. Thank you so much for ECP. Did you get my payment, Guru Mark? Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Check. Guys, again, all of you that are coming in, if you're bidding, uh, Mr. Popzilla, you're good, man. Thank you, Mr. Popzilla. You did the uh, that silver nitrate. You did that, Steve Woods. You did the two, Popzilla. You did the one. This is just to kind of help us keep track. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, Mark. Guru Mark, I got it, my friend. You're good. You are good. You got to pay the troll toll. <laughs> All right. Here we go. You guys are going nuts over these diabetic pandas. I'm going to bust this out. I'm throwing an audible, calling an audible. Guys, we're going back a couple years. We're going to 2012. Silver Heist, you are a troll. We're going back to a, th a th th 2012 MS-70 Panda with its newborn baby. This is a 2012 now. Uh, let me just see. Got the 2012 Panda. And I'll flip it over to the reverse. <coughs> 2012 Panda. Go back even a couple more years. Grog the Devourer, he's back. Thank you, by the way, Silver Heist, for that generous uh, super chat. Here's the reverse. Uh, Jason Bergerson, you are correct. I call them obese pandas. Uh, here we go. We're going to start this one also at 30. Go. We got this obese panda with its chubby little child there who never gets picked for kickball because he's he's too slow when he's running those bases. So, uh, you know, Mama Bear there always has to have a meeting with the principal because uh, baby panda there. Has a tough time acclimating on the field. And uh, <laughs> the kids are being unkind. See, look at even even the little kid panda. Look how sad it is. He's like, he's like, 
I never get picked for kickball. So uh, Silver Heist, man, it's good to have you. John Knight, we got Gabriel at 40. He's teaching his son how to take his <laughs> <coughs> El Chubbo. <coughs> DJ's getting out to take insulin. That's right. She's she's poking him on the back of the thigh. There, she's like, no, you poke it right there in the thigh. We've got Gabe at forty-seven on the two thousand twelve. We had some two thousand fourteens earlier going, and now we're doing the two thousand twelves. We had a two thousand thirteen earlier go, so now we got a two thousand twelve. We got the 2012 Pandas. We got Jamie Huerta at 48. Huerta is like, what did I hear? Pandas? Gabe is at 47. And then Huerta's at 48. MS70. We got an older Panda, a little bit older. Uh, yeah, Coach. Uh, I don't do that stuff, actually. Believe it or not, you would say I, you, would, you wouldn't believe me, but it's the truth. So we are at uh, 48. Jamie Huerta, 48. All right, we're going to start counting this down. We're going to start counting this down. Three. Got two. We're at one. And, and the, the year later, I'm typing in sold. The year later, Jamie's at 48. Sold to Jamie Huerta. 448 panda bear action jamie likes his pandas so he got him nice job jamie on the panda win who won the panda earlier tonight guru mark won that one you got that one at 48 nice job let me give a thousand One thousand Jamie Huerta. Nice job there. Guys, this is a fun coin. Uh, some people within the chat have this series. I sold one last week. Here is another item that is in that series. And this is the Zombuck series. I love that series. I only have one myself. I don't have the whole series. This is the actual the Zombuck. And those of you that, for whatever reason, don't know about the Zombuck series, it's just a play on American uh, coins, and um, they did all sorts of decaying zombie variation things. Uh, Graham, I have some more vintage, dude. You missed one vintage, yes. So uh, this is going to be starting out at 25. I will do the reverse. We got the Zombucks here. We got the reverse. I forget which one this was in the series. There, I think there were 12 in all in the series. I forget. But we got the Zombuff there. Uh, we're at 28 for Gabe. And mind you guys, these are harder and harder to find. They're getting more and more expensive, especially with the spot price surge. And mind you, guys, you are not paying tax with me on here. You're just paying for the uh, for the four dollars shipping, so you got to keep that in mind as well. We got meat at thirty, wanting that zombified buff. Got meat at thirty. Meat is at thirty. And guys, I don't know about you, but I have been buying silver and gold. I went to an LCS today, and I felt like such a lowly person. Uh, <laughs> I was there looking to get a couple more kookaburras and a couple koalas, and there was this couple next to me buying monster box of American silver eagles, followed by an ounce of gold, and they were going to come back the following day and buy 10 ounces of gold. I was just like, man, I am a peasant. Uh, we got stopped at 31. Again, guys, this series is expensive, and these are harder to come by. And uh, I, again, don't recall which one this is in the series, but Guido and I, we know that you guys like these, so we try to pick them up when we see them. Nice, ECP. I bought gold today, ECP. Uh, I'm going to still buy, be buying silver up until like around 20, and then I'm going to hold off. 
I'm trading some silver tomorrow for a $5 gold Indian head. Dude, nice. Nice. Very, very nice. All right, we got Stoth at 31. We're going to start counting this down. We have a few more items to get through. Stoth is at 31. Timothy, out of nowhere, with the 32. Thank you, Terry, for the assistance. Wow. Five three pound silver bars. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Alexander Stoff at 33. There's a lot of uh there's a lot of uh what do you call it? People uh selling right now. I'm still buying it. Grog, yeah, we'll talk, buddy. Tomorrow I should have some time during my lunch break. I can call you. Timothy's at 34. Alexander Stoff is at 35. Terry, you keep up the good work, Terry. And maybe you'll be blue again. Uh, Stoff is at 35. You are actually, Terry, and I appreciate it. It makes things easier for me. You had your medicine tonight, apparently. <laughs> Mike Aldridge, you like them bars? Well, I got some bars coming. Oh, Timothy, coming back. With the 36. Again, guys, you pay by the end of the evening and you get free silver with your purchase. $4 flat. Once 20 hits, I'm selling silver, says Grog. Man, good for you, Grog. I would I would consider holding it, though, Grog. Alexander Stoth is at 37. Grog, I'm, I'm keeping mine, bro. Alexander's at 37. Brandon, he's done playing tennis. Here he is. No, ECP. Students don't come until uh uh students don't arrive until Thursday. Timothy's at 38. Who wants this zomb buff the most? And who wants that free silver in with their purchase? Four dollars flat, guys. Make sure you're including that four dollars flat shipping with your uh your per payments tonight. Timothy's at 40. Grog, don't take anybody up on any of their offers before you talk to me first. Ignore Grammy liver lips there. Ignore him. You got to ignore Grammy liver lips. <laughs> All right, we're at 41 for Stoth. We got a bidding war. We've got a serious fight over the Zombuff. Who wants the bona fide Zombuff? Timothy's at 42. Timothy's at 42. Alexander's at 43. Wade says he's got 100 generic rounds, sell for 22. I mean, it's going to be hard for you to find takers, Wade, with 22 an ounce on generics. I'm just telling you, unless you've got somebody who's really bullish about silver and thinks that it's going to go higher, I think you're going to have a hard time finding a buyer for that. Timothy's at 44. Timothy's at 46. Stoff was at 45. Timothy's at 46. Keep on doing it, Emmerine. I'm going to keep on purchasing silver. Uh, Timothy's at 46. All right, we're going to start counting this down because we got to get some other items up on this auction block. Alex, uh, Timothy's at 46, and sold to Timothy for 46. Congratulations, Timothy. Congratulations. ECP, I'm in agreement with you. 22 for generics is way too high. I, I highly doubt he's going to find anybody that is going to pay that for them unless they think that silver is going to shoot the moon. But they're they're not gonna find somebody for that. You could try, it's just not gonna happen. Congrats on that win. And I'm not trying to uh, wade toy. I'm not trying to discourage you. I mean, if you are able to find somebody 
If you are able to find somebody to buy it at 22, then dude, go for it. But it is going to be hard to do for you. Uh, here we go, guys. Let's go back to the giveaway. Can I see the coin outside the holder? Yes, you may. The round outside of the holder. There's the buff in the buff. And I'll flip it around. There you go. All right. All right. So let's get ready to play a giveaway. Let's get ready to play a, a nice giveaway game. You guys are hitting enter. Don't hit enter yet. Agreed, ECP. Agreed. ASC's for 22, most likely. That makes more sense to me. Meet me, I need to offload my silver to the kid with the bird from Dumb and Dumber. Nobody else will pay the premium I need. I know, right? Pretty bird, pretty bird. Aren't you a pretty bird? <laughs> All right, Timothy. All right, everybody, let me start this over. Let me start this game over and go. Everybody, you may start entering. No gloves, oh, Timothy. I have it there, but it's some people are, um, you know, I held it by the edges, and some people for the, the rounds um, on the edges, they don't care being that they're not so numismatic. Uh, I do have my... My stormtrooper gloves here. I apologize. I should have just probably thrown them on for the edges, but I didn't want to fumble with them. All right, guys. Enter, enter, enter. Get ready. The gunk was not in this box. And the gunk was in this one that was chosen by <clears throat> Richo, which means there's something in these. All right, guys, you have about five seconds before I cut it off. Four, three, two, one, and it's only one entry. Close. It is closed. All right, guys, we are going to pick the winner. Guys, Michael Kittle Rare Coins it came up as Michael Kittle rare coins. Michael, when you're telling me which box you want, make sure you uh Silver Trooper, that's awesome. Guys, uh make sure you're also hitting the like button for me, please. If you would be so kind. Uh Michael Kittle, make sure you put my um name uh type stacking stormtrooper in there and let me know. Do you want one or two? One or two. And, uh, guys, we were at around 210, more or less, uh, for the uh, giveaway uh, before I started losing count. Um, so, again, the Super Chats will reset the gunk game. And if there happens to be a gunk game in progress, it upgrades it, which happened earlier. Uh, so, Michael Kittle... I'm trying to see if I could see you in here. I'm trying to throw all the comments. Number one, please. I see it. All right, Michael. Box one. This is 800 silver. And check it out. Check out the back. Nineteen thirty-one. Oh God, where the heck is my book? And this is like a uh, a Corona, an Austrian Corona, I think. Hold on a second. And somebody in the chat's probably going to beat me to it. Nineteen thirty-one. Swedish Krona. Sorry, guys. Swedish Krona. Uh, congratulations. Sorry. Congratulations, Michael Kittle, for the Swedish Krona. 1931. I'll put it over here in this cam. We still have one item up for 
Check that out. 1931 Swedish Krona. The back is nice. It's 800 silver. Very nice coin. I got a phone call. I maybe missed your response. Did you get my payment? All right. I hope I did it right. Let me check. So Michael Kittle Rare Coins. Congratulations. Michael Kittle. So make sure you email me, Michael. Rare Coins. And then it was the 1931 Swedish Krona Gall. All right. Let me check. Um, I figured it did, Brandon. Armando, I do see a payment there. Um, let me see. Let me see. Armando. Yeah, Armando, you're good, dude. You did it. You're fine. And Alexander Stoff, I see money in there, Alexander. Thank you. Thanks, bud. Um, I'm not entirely sure on the exact amounts right now. I just I see a payment in there. So I'm just going to continue going. We have a few more items. Lady Bullion says 25. What is she? Are you bidding on something? Nothing's there yet. Nothing's there yet, lady. That was a giveaway. All right, guys, check this out. We got a bar here. One ounce. Sunshine bar. One ounce sunshine bar, and I'll flip this over. I don't know when this thing was made. But it's got that security feature on the back. And we're going to start this one ounce sunshine bar at 19. Go. Hey, Chris Garner, what's going on? Let me flip this around. One ounce sunshine bar. Emmerine is at 20. Meat Man's at 22. Popzilla is at 23. These bars go fast. Thank you, Aldridge. Emmerine, 24. Yeah, you guys love the bars. No doubt. I'm going to need to see it verified with the card stacking Stormtrooper. I actually don't have that card. But it was tested at the place when I bought it about a year ago. So I stand behind it. Steve Woods, 26. Optimus Locust is at 28. Optimus Locust is at 28. Here you go. I'll zoom in. All right. Optimus Locus is at 28. I'll flip it back over. If you guys could hold up on the gambling. Coin Collector Ohio, what's going on? So we got Optimus at 28. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, ECP. We're going to start counting this down. Optimus is a registered bidder. So you're good, Optimus. <laughs> Guru Mark, I'm not sure, actually. I have to pick up one of those decoders. And sold to Optimus. Congrats, Optimus, for 28. And Optimus, if you would like to, um, again, you send the payment, 
By the end of the evening, you'll get free silver thrown in. So Optimus for the Sunshine Bar at 28. Again, guys, make sure $4 shipping and make sure your payments are being sent. Uh, goods and services. Goods and services. All right, guys, I got a cool item here. Check this out. I wrote down, because I'm not so good on my space exploration. Check this out. All right. You guys are probably wondering, what is that? Why can't I see it? Well, that's because my focus isn't doing so well. Let me uh, focus it. All right, guys. So this is from a uh, space um, exploration endeavor between the American and Russian Russians in 1975. So it was in 1975. It was the first joint U.S.-Soviet space flight. It was a symbol of the policy that the two superpowers were pursuing at the same time. It's 90% uh, silver. And let's just take this out of the box. Check that out. All right. So it's in commemoration of the Apollo Soyuz space mission. I can't pronounce it. And then you got the whole bunch of Russian. Nyet. We've got very much Russian. All right. And so here is the 90%. Uh, silver, and you have these uh, coin, uh, coins, stamps. All right, so I know some of you are big into the space-themed stuff, and I said, all right, let me get a variety here. So for this one, we are going to start this off at 20. Stamps 2. Let me try to back out and let me see if I could. Let me see if this. Uh, it's got a stand there. I don't want to rip it out. Limited edition proof, 90%. We got Emerine at uh, East Coast Prospecting at 25. Coin Collector Ohio, I do not. You can either do PCP or um, PCP. Good Lord. Good. Have, have fun. I'm reading ECP and I'm. <laughs> you could do PayPal or Cash App. So we got uh, Popzilla at 25. No, Steve Woods, I believe it's an ounce. You could quit if you wanted to quickly Google it by all means. It's the 1975 Apollo Soyuz. So I can't even pronounce that. Soyuz, Soyuz space mission. I know, Graham Sacker, right? It's in commemoration of the Apollo Soyuz space mission. You have very much like it's small, like quarter size. No, 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 no. Look at my thumb here. It's like a dollar. Look at this. Like if you know the size of it, it's like the size. Actually, it's a little bit bigger than. It's like the size of an like a, uh, an American Silver Eagle. Here's like the Stormtrooper. You can see like there's that one. There's this one ounce silver round. If that kind of puts it into perspective for you. Um. So no, it's like uh like a like a dollar like a Morgan dollar size. Um. So we are at uh. Yeah. John Knight, I saw at 22. Oh, ECP is at 25. So we'll start counting this down. Gorbachev on the back. His liver spot on the head is built in the fair fire. 26 for Steve Woods. Twenty-six. Count it down, blabber guts. Three. Two. ECP is at 30. <laughs> Three. 31 for Steve Woods. We got the. You got Steve Woods and ECP. ECP is at 32. Again, it comes in this commemorative uh, display that it was in. It's like. It's a. Uh, Kind of like a um, like a cardboard 
type material. And I guess it's like an accordion. I guess you could prop it open. They could expand. You could prop it open. But I just have it resting up against my printer. We've got Steve Woods is at 33. <clears throat> and we're going to start counting it down. John Knight. Uh, Steve Woods is at 33. All right, we're going to count it down at three, two, one. Thank you, Michael Kittle. Sold. Steve Woods for 33. Congratulations, Steve. You uh, pay by PayPal or Cash App. Make sure you include your $4 for shipping. And um, you pay by the end of the auction, which is going to be very soon. Uh, you will get um, free silver with your order. Guys, make sure when you are sending me your payments, just write your names in there if you have a screen name and also just the item as well. I mean, I'm writing it down, but it's always good to uh, see you guys have it in there just to help me verify and double check. So Steve Woods for 33. All right, guys, we only have three more items left and we are done for the evening. Uh, and then we will do the final giveaway. So you want to stick around. Here we go. We are going to throw up this one, two. By the way, ECP, if you're still in here, that Morgan with the toning uh, didn't sell earlier. Uh, I'm going to throw this back up there, ECP, if you're still in here. Here we go. We're going to quickly do this one. Because ECP, you and I spoke, and you were very interested in this. 1886. Let me uh, zoom in. I put this up earlier, and you weren't in here. 1886, MS63. There is the barcode. Guys, if you weren't in here earlier, this is a beauty. Um, and it's got the uh, toning from where other Morgans were lying on it. And you can see it right there by the back of her head and in front of her face, uh, right down there where another coin was resting on it. And um, it's almost like a like an hourglass shaped toning to it. You see it there? And then I'm going to flip it over for the reverse, which is like a burnt orange color. And it's pretty much toned um, evenly throughout, pretty much evenly it's got a couple spots that are a little blast white there but look at that very nice toning on this coin kind of kind of like a swirl there it looks like a hurricane okay we're gonna throw up this morgan and we're gonna start her off at 65 go for the MS-63, it's an 1886 Morgan. It's got that bag toning on it, or whatever the heck you want to call it. But it's where the other coins were resting on top of it, so the part that got hit with the bag the most was the part that's toned. We got John Wolf at 66. Uh, Guru Mark is at 70. We got some serious orange sunburst, Terry 79, with lots of cartwheels rolling around her. Yeah, right, ECP. I wish you were paying 92000 So we've got uh, Guru Mark at 70 on this gorgeous MS-63. Dan's Hobbies, uh, you purchased with me before. I thought I put you on the registered bidder uh, mark there. Uh, we got Guru at 70. If you want me to zoom in any more, guys, I can. Here, let's do that. Look at that. Look at that crazy detail. Look at the devices. Her hair is all nice and flowing. She's got a pretty clean cheek. She's got one scruff there. She's got one little scar on her cheek. 92,000 in the higher grade. Cool. All right, Guru's at 70. I'm going to start, turn her over. Yep, you got it, man. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna do it like this, and then I'm gonna hold it so you can see the uh, the toning in it, because it's kind of got this like orange. You see it? You see how it's kind of like got the swirled type toning. And I'll flip it right side up in just a moment, but I I want you to be able to see it there. And now I'll flip it over like this, and then I'll get up all in that bird. All right, let me focus. All right. It's got a pretty orange tone to this one. All right. So we're at 70 with Guru. Focus is bad. Focus is fantastic, coach. It's a fantastic focus. Look at that. Look at that fantastic focus. All right. We're going to start counting her down. I like to see the feathers. You want to see the feathers again, Guru? I wonder if you cracked it out if you would grade higher says dance hobbies. I don't know, man. I'm not ECP is like ECP it, to me is like the guy who knows his stuff. Um I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it would. Let's get all up in that upside down bird. Very sharp chest feathers. <laughs> you guys are turds. Look at those fields. Look at that radiance and that glow. All right, we got Guru Mark. Guru Mark is at 70. And whoop. sold Guru Mark for the Morgan. All right, Guru Mark. Morgan. Nice win, dude. Nice win. Let me give you your thousand. We got like two more items and then we're done for the night. Guru Mark. All right. All righty. This next piece we've got here, this next coin, I should say, is five French francs. It's 0.835 silver. I'd say it's about the size of a half dollar. Um, let me zoom on this. You can kind of see the sun behind her. Let me grab a half dollar here. You can see like the Benjamin Franklin. It's about the size of a half dollar, a little bit smaller. And I'll flip it to the back. To the reverse, five francs, five francs and beans, and we are going to start this 1965 francs, I believe it's French francs, um, at eight. French Walker. She's at 10 for Gabriel. Five French francs. It's 0.835, John Knight. 0.835 silver. By all means, guys, please, I'm not trying to misrepresent anything, so you're always welcome to Google it real quick. But it's five francs. 15 for Popzilla. Thank you, Michael Aldridge. I got a couple more. We're going to try to close it out at 11. How much is shipping if you win two or more items? It's still $4 flat. If you won 10 items from me, you're getting $4 shipping for it all. We got Wade at 11. We got Wade at 11 for the five French francs. So I'll flip it over again for 0.835 silver. This coin is in very pretty condition. I don't know any of the significance of all the stuff on the back. You know, what does it all, uh, you know, signify? But 12 for Steve Woods. 
That's right, Donald. You tell them. First day of issue. Hurry. If you act now, you get a free date with Terry Rabidou and Donald in New Mexico. Sellout's going to be expected. Call now. Don't miss out on this extravagant coin. It is radiant and lustrous. And Steve Woods is at 12. <laughs> it's got cartwheels for years. What word is under her feet? I think it's Terry Rabidou. It says, let's see. Oh, Rody. I don't know. Oh, Pody? No clue. Oh, Rory? <laughs> I don't know. Secret special decoder ring involved if you order this really fast. All right, we got Gabriel at 13. Alves for peace, oak leaves for strength. Oh, see, look, Donald in New Mexico is actually sharing his intelligence and not his numb scullery. <laughs> like that word, numb scullery. <laughs> Grammy liver lips. Popzilla's at 15. Oh, potty. <laughs> Pops at 15, says Skull. Thank you, Skull Crusher. By the way, how have you been, Skull? It's been a while, man. All right, so we got pops at 15. We're going to start counting it. Three, two, maybe both, Armando. You never know. One, sold to Popzilla. Donald is very smart, says Terry. All right, 15 to Popzilla, Mr. Pop. Zilla. All right. So it's $4 shipping. Uh, include that with your payment by the end of tonight. And free silver will be added to your purchase. But wait, there's more. Bond. James Bond. All right, guys. Check this out. This sold for a decent amount last auction. Uh, either the last one or the one before it. And uh, it didn't have the original box that it was in and this is a 90 percent let me back out a little bit 90 percent let me one second raise that up united states mint 90 percent silver commemorative half dollar we got george washington and i can try to get it out of here It's got, there we go. It's got like this way to display it. And there's the reverse. I don't know if those scuffs are on the corner or the cap. It looks like it's on the, on the uh, capsule. Because when I do that, you see the reflection of the capsule scuffs shine down onto the proof of the coin there. So um, <laughs> Armando's got, I'll get the 57 Chevy. <laughs> Buy the 57 Chevy right now for a low, low price, and you get this George Washington commemorative quarter or half dollar. All right, let me zoom in on this. Here we go. What was the color of George Washington's white horse? All right, and we are going to start the bidding on this uh, commemorative coin. If I can find it on my sheet. One second, my friends. It's on the back. Yes, it is. All right, guys, we are going to start this at 13 go. We forgive you, Donald in New Mexico. We forgive you. That's right. <laughs> Call now and you get this free red velvet cardboard box. So we got Brandon at 13. Proof finish. Got George Washington. It's the 250th anniversary of. Hold on. 
The Birth, 1982. George Washington, proof finish. We're at 13 with Brandon. We're almost done here, folks, and we're going to do the final giveaway. Meat Man, you want some sal? You guys got to buy it with your bucket bucks. Does it come with the slab? I'll, I'll do this on the house. Let me get my water. You guys are pains in the butt. Greetings, one and all, to the Salvation Nation. Today, we're looking at stacking Stormtrooper, the used car salesman. Let's explore. In recent news, silver shot up to above $19, an amount that silver stackers haven't seen in years. Donald in New Mexico decided to say something smart, while Terry Rabidou decided to suck up to the stacking stormtrooper for a blue wrench. How was that, guys? That was my sal. All right, so we got John Knight. We got Kings at 15. I'm not in the restroom. There it is, says Michael Aldridge. Sal's here, says Zach Puckett. You guys love my sal. <laughs> Donald in New Mexico is here. All right. Yes, indeed. Let's call a scammer. Thank you, Michael Aldridge. I thought that was Sal there. <laughs> Shut up, Sal. <laughs> yeah. Where's Barbara? Where's Barbara Carbone? Yes, hello. This is All One Funding, and we are calling to present to you of great opportunity for funding. What is? What would you like to do? Uh, I would like to set up a business. We're making around ninety-three thousand dollars, ninety-three thousand each month. Yes, indeed. All right. Josh Craven says that's a decent sal. Well, great, Josh Craven. Is, yes. Okay. Fun, fun out. All right. So we're gonna let's hear your Greedo stacking impression. I can't really do him so much. Uh, I have to spend more time with them. It's hard to do. They've got to have a real distinct like thing with their voice in order for me to do it. And we're going to count down kings. Yes, indeed. Three, two, one. Oh, man, Method Marine. <laughs> and sold to... Who did we sell to? Kings. Kings coins. Good win, Kings. Kings coins. $4 shipping. Pay by the end of the night, which is in a moment. $4 plus the 15. And uh, you will um, get some free silver with that. 15 to the king. Kings coins. Nice win, buddy. And uh, just cough a lot. <laughs> What's up, guys? Says Coach. All right, guys. Um, I think we are good to go. If you want one more item, put a one in the chat. Otherwise, slurp. All right. Donald in Mexico is saying slurp. Let's do a quick slurp for Donald. All right. Yes, indeed. I don't have any cookies. Hold on. All right. Will Hornbuckle is here. Greetings, Will Hornbuckle. Thank you so much for coming. Good, good to see you, sir. Trooper, old salvids are real funny. John Knight says one more thing. My greedy old person. Gabe says one more free silver. I want some free silver ECP. John Wolf, John Wolf, Steve Woods is saying one. Mike Aldridge is like, no, I don't want anything. Infamous stackers back from his his uh his smoke break. And he's back. Gotta be coffee cup when slurp. I know, Josh. I, I have the uh, my water bottle here. All right. We're going to do one more item, and then we're going to do the free giveaway, guys. And then we are going to call it an evening. All right. We will call it an evening. 
Let's do something nice, very nice. All right, guys, quick vote. You can either do one of a few things. We could go animal. We could get all animal-like up in here. We could do something newer and cool, pop culture-esque. Or we could go vintage or historic. All right, so you got animals, pop culture, vintage or historic. Let me know what you want in the chat. And then we could do the live. We could do the live. Uh, what am I talking live? The, uh, what do you call it there? Giveaway. Let's see what you guys want. Are the $10 Indian head gold coins your fave? No. Animals. You guys say you want an animal. ECP wants to see animal. Terry saying a pop culture thing. Optimus is saying historic. Skull Crusher saying go with an animals. ECP says animals. Graham saying vintage, new. It seems like we're seeing more new, new, new. Some historic and some animals. Vintage. Uh, somebody second stormtrooper uh, at gmail.com. Steve Woods. Yeah, it's on the screen there, buddy. Right there. Uh, let's get my thing right here. Right there. PayPal stacking stormtrooper at gmail.com. Historic says infamous. Animals, animals says ECP. All right. Can't make you all happy. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do one historic, which is flipping amazing. In my opinion, this is amazing. And then we'll do an animal. Guys, I had to pick this up, okay? I was going to save this because for another night, pay attention because this is really, really cool. I was going to save this for another night because I only like to do some, like, a couple big items every once in a while. We did the Carson City thing. We did that Russian thing. Where's my bucket bucks coins? You got to earn them. That's right. You got to get it for your, uh, your win. That's right, Kings. Give. Thank you, Kings. Give Kings coins. One second, King. I'm getting you, bro. Thank you, Kings coins. And uh, for all of you in the chat, I'm going to give 1,000 chat because you guys have hung with me for this long. All right, so listen to this, guys. World War II, uh, I had some relatives or just um, some distant you know, relatives that were in World War II. I said in a previous vid, uh, live stream that my fifth great-grandfather was in the Civil War, fought at Gettysburg. I had a great uncle and my grandfather who fought in World War II. And uh, my grandfather was a Marine. And my great uncle was 17 years old. And he was aboard the USS Chevalier, which was sunk in the South Pacific by a Japanese submarine. And uh, he was killed in battle. I was at my local coin shop and I picked this up because of not only the value of the bullion, but because stackingstormtrooper at gmail.com. Yes, Steve Woods. Yep, stackingstormtrooper at gmail.com. You should be able to find my PayPal there. Um, guys, this is has an incredible story. Um, this is the SS Gersapa. I'm probably mispronouncing it. It is a 10-ounce silver bar. Steve Woods, yes, stackingstormtrooper at gmail.com. All right. And the U.S. Oh, – sorry, the SS Gersapa was a British steam merchant ship, which uh, towards the end of its, uh, its, its life – uh, it, it was actually used in World War II, and it was sunk by a German U-boat in, uh, in uh, 1941. Uh, and thank you, uh, Method Marine, as to you. So um, this was then sunk in 1941. Eighty-five British soldiers um, or uh, British um, sailors were killed, and... This was carrying a lot of silver ingots. Basically, in 2011, it was recovered. And in 2013, it was reported that 61 tons of silver were aboard this ship. 
These bars were minted from the silver that was aboard that ship that was sunk. So not only are you getting a 10 ounce silver bar, but this is historic. This is from an actual ship that was sunk in 1941. So 10 ounce, 999, <laughs> Graham Stacker, that's one way. Uh, and you thank you so much for the $2 super chat. And you get, uh, this is serialized. And guys, there's a lot of videos on this uh, bar and uh, videos on the SS Gersapa. So for this bar, we are going to start the bidding at 210. At 210 for the silver bar. Wow, Guru Mark. Thank you so much for your service. So guys, you're getting a 10 ounce bar plus the historic value to this piece. It was aboard the SS Gersapa, 85 lives were lost and it was salvaged. And the silver that was aboard the ship were, um, were then made into silver uh, rounds and bars. This thing is gorgeous. I agree that it's a steal. Holy smokes, I don't have the money for this. Why the story is amazing. I know Method Marine. 215. And guys, don't take my word for it. I mean, I researched it. I looked it up. There's videos on it. JM Bullion has got these on there. I believe going for uh, 270 at least. Plus, you're going to pay the tax on that. Uh, for this, guys, though, for shipping, I would need $10 shipping. So before you continue to um, before you continue to bid, I do need ten dollars shipping for this one because this is um, the ten ounce bar, so it's going to be a little bit more expensive. So keep that in mind. If you want to retract your bid, by all means, I understand. But again, keep in mind if you pay by the end of the night, I will throw in free silver. And right now at two thirty, guys, um, you know, again, you're not paying the tax on it. But you are helping me out with the shipping. And again, I ask that you do pay uh, by um, goods and services. Uh, it protects you as a buyer, protects me as a seller. But I do take uh, a hit on my profits with that. So we've got uh, Brandon, uh, Steve Parsons. No, I do not have a certificate of authenticity with this. I got this from my uh, local coin shop. Um, we tested it there. He happened to have one of the Sigmas right there. I threw it on there, tested. Uh, there is the serial number there. And again, guys, um, just the historical uh, aspect to this piece is crazy. This bar is awesome. You guys wanted something historic? I, I, I think I pulled it out for you guys on this one. And because I had a great uncle who was killed uh, at sea in World War II, made me want this. And my grandfather fought. He was a Marine. He fought at Iwo Jima uh, during World War II. So just the the just because of the the uh, story behind this. All right. So we're at two thirty five with Brandon. Ten dollars shipping for a ten ounce bar. Ozzy, yeah, you're actually that you're putting it. <laughs> That's a good deal as well, because usually it's four dollars shipping for one ounce. So ten dollars. This is ten ounces, Steve Woods. This is ten ounces. Ten troy ounces. For bars like that, you should use a flat rate box, 750. I uh, probably will, but depending on how high this went up, I would consider maybe throwing in the insurance on it. But also uh skull crusher. I do take a hit on the uh, goods and services. We're at 242 with Brandon. Thank you, Michael Aldridge. Guru Mark, I doubt it. I mean, this is an amazing piece for sure. And you probably could easily buy, this is just in the, uh, the plastic that I believe came in. I mean, this is how I bought it. You guys probably... Uh, would be able to buy the uh, capsules for this. Throw in the stand. I need the stand for my auctions. 
Optimus, if you buy, if you end up winning this, Optimus, I'll throw in the stand for you. How's that? Kings Coins, thank you so much. I appreciate you, Kings. We got Brandon at 244. Again, this is an um, awesome piece. I am throwing in free silver if you pay by the end of the night. James, uh, let's see. Let's see this. Okay. This is looking good there. All right, let me go back in here. 247 Brandon. Again, $10. Has Moose purchased previously or registered? Uh, Silver Moose? I don't believe so. Silver Moose. Um, Silver. Thank you, Ozzy, by the way. Silver Moose, if you wouldn't mind, uh, Guido Stacken and I have had um, – we're Brandon is at 247. Silver Moose, uh, Guido Stack and I have had some trolls run up some bids very recently. And I've seen bigger auctions do this. If you wouldn't mind, you could do a $1 super chat, which I'd apply to your purchase, or a $1 PayPal, whichever you want to do. Um, but I, I I need you to be registered. And it's just because I don't know you. Um, and I'm sure you understand. So uh, we got Brandon at 252. Brandon's at 252. Silver Moose, if you would like to participate, I need you to be registered. And um, so you could just do $1 uh, super chat, and that would apply to your purchase. Um, and I, I sure you are understand. Moose is good to Silver Streak. And Silver Streak's word means a lot to me too, Silver Moose. So I'm gonna take Silver. I'm gonna since so Silver Streak is vouching for you, Silver Moose. I I will throw the dice here. I'll roll.